All right, people, here we go. Coming at you live from beautiful San Diego. When you come on, let me know if you can hear me. It looks like it rained earlier this morning, but I'm about a, my hotel's about a mile away from the uh, convention center. So I thought I'd just take a nice little walk and take you through downtown San Diego today. I'm going to be down here at Social Media Marketing World for about three days, bringing you all the skinny on Facebook ads, Pinterest marketing, LinkedIn marketing. Thank you, jo Joseph. Appreciate it. I, like, I need the sound check. I don't like to waste my time going live and you can't hear or see. So, I'm going to be bringing you everything. I mean, last night we went to the YouTube Creators uh, event, Creators Helping Creators. I learned so much on how to boost your subscriptions on YouTube, how to learn how to title your uh, YouTube content so that it goes viral. And a whole bunch of other tips. I mean, there was so much love in the house from the different. Um, I don't know if I should walk down that way. Yeah, I think I should walk down this way. So basically, we're going to be talking about everything these next three days. How to do organic Facebook ads without spending any money. How to utilize paid ads and how to pick your interests and the behaviors so that you learn how people spend their money on the, online. How, to, how they spend their uh, time cruising interests and behaviors and things like that. We're going to be showing you how to market yourself on um, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Tumblr, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, what else? I can't even think right now because I'm just trying to enjoy the scenery of all the hustle and bustle of everybody going to work in <laughs> San Diego today. This place is crowded. And I'm going to tell you something about, about, about this place. If you want to go downtown to the Gas Lab District and you stand in a hotel down here, I repeat, do not drive your car downtown it's a twelve dollars an hour to park at night it's ridiculous i won't do that again i will uber or walk i mean i'm not even that far i'm probably like six blocks from downtown but um trying to uh give you guys a skinny on what we're actually going to be doing today so there's about probably 80 workshops that i'm going to be going to over the next three days. I mean, there's going to be so much information overload that it's not even going to be funny. And I'm just in the thick of it all, getting ready to bring it to you so that, you know, you'll be winning. See, the whole point of me doing what I do is so that people can win. I don't want you to spend your money and not know what you're spending it for. I want you to be able to understand why certain things cost a lot of money. Why you can't get a uh, certain reach unless you spend. Facebook is turning into a pay to play type of situation. So in order for you to know the game, I'm here to learn it so I can bring it to you. Now, as you all know, I give away a lot of things free. A lot of stuff free, a lot of information free. All you got to do is follow the steps. In fact, I'm going to be dropping a lot of gems in my group. So what I want you guys to do is, can I ask you guys a question real quick? How do you get to the convention center? Which way is it? This way or this way? I think it's that way. That way? Okay. I'm just trying to get wherever this, the thing ends at the water. <laughs> so is it this way or this way? This way? I'll go down one more block. Oh, you guys are? <laughs> okay. Well, 
We tried. I hope you find some locals. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's right down. Actually, it's right down there. I can see it. Yeah. That's the end of it. Okay. I'm getting a little. You know, I haven't been down to San Diego in about I don't know five years. I used to live down here for ten years, so I don't have time to figure out where things are anymore. But we're gonna get uh, to our destination. Be well on our way. Anyway, let me get back to what I was talking about. So I give away a lot of things free. And one of the things that I love to give away free is advice on how you can grow your social media. So there's a group that I created. It's called Social Media Hacks. You can find it by typing in facebook.com forward slash social media hack with no S. And it takes you straight to the group. You guys want to find out how I operate, what I know, what I share? Go there. Because that is is the best way to find out how you're going to win on social media without spending a dime. Now, a lot of you all, it's, uh, it's a challenge. You know, the terminology, the, uh, the different way things work on different social medias. But what I'm here to tell you is that in my group, I break it down for you. It's quite easy. It's not hard. It's just basically... If you just follow the instructions, there's so many videos, there's so much content that's helping you win, you have no excuse really to not win. So with that being said, what you guys should be doing right now is getting on that group. I'll be looking at it in a few minutes, so if I don't approve you, somebody else in the group will. That's how it works. So. Back to what I was talking about with the topics today. We're going to be talking about Facebook ads. We're going to be talking about Facebook organic growth. We're going to be talking about how to go live the proper way. How to set up your lives so that you'll be able to get the most maximum views out of it. How to do post edits. And I know a lot of you don't know this, but when you go live, at the end of it, when you do a post edit, you can actually create the subtitles free. They'll do it for you automatically. It doesn't no matter how long your live is, your subtitles will be free. The name of that group is facebook.com forward slash social media hack. No S on the end. It's called hacks, but I couldn't procure the link, so I just got social media hack. So, join that group. Learn some shit. You know, stop, stop being the dummy in your crew and go there. It's free. I mean, what other person do you know that's actually giving away something free that's of value to you? I could be making three, four, five thousand dollars. Well, actually, I do. <laughs> but those are clients who are. I'm going to tell you the difference between going to learn how to do that and having me do it. It's going to take you about a month or two to figure out the whole thing and then set it up. I can have you done in two days to a week, but you're paying the price for that. So I try to give you the ability and the opportunity to do it yourself. So you don't have to sit there and worry about me taking your money. Because definitely, I'll take your money, no problem. I have no problem with that. Just hand it over and your business will be taken care of. No sweat. We have a great success rate. In fact, just to give you an idea, and I want you guys to go there so you can check it out. My Pinterest account under Brian Bacchus Brands has grown from 18,000 followers on February 24th to 170,000 followers today. Don't believe me? Go look at it. You'll see for yourself. In fact, if you got a Pinterest account, it's easy for you to find out. If you don't have a Pinterest account, I'll wait. Go ahead and sign up. But, hmm, maybe I should go this way. I think that's the convention center right there. Yeah, I'm not familiar with downtown, so. But it's a beautiful day to walk, even though it just got finished raining. It cleared up everything. Looks like it's going to rain again, but oh well. But, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you guys a first-person 
experience with what goes down at a social media marketing conference. This right here is one of the biggest conferences in Southern California. Happens every year, this is the sixth year. Everyone that leaves this conference is winning. The, the, the knowledge that you gain from this conference, think about this. Every person that you know that's on YouTube, that's on Twitter, that's killing it on LinkedIn, they are all here today. All of them. And the cool thing about it all is we get to see everybody in action. Actually, I got the sun to my back, so it's going to be kind of difficult to keep the uh, focus. Sorry, I didn't, the sun just came out. So I'm going to kind of do a sideways shot. So, basically, I'm going to be getting about $100,000 worth of knowledge for the, the sweet price of $1,000 that I paid to come to this event. And that was the early bird price. Just imagine the latecomers. They pay like $2,500. But the thing is, no matter what you pay, when you finish, you're going to walk away from here with the knowledge of a scholar in social media. I mean, we already put in the research and effort daily to get to give you the information that you need to succeed and we're going to continue to do that so all right joe i got you i see you we'll talk um yeah but keep listening because you know i'm a i'm gonna be rambling on for about another 15 minutes until i get there just trying to get my little i'm kind of cross doing a uh, cardio exercise and at the same time giving you some information. I call it info size. <laughs> I just made that up. Um, but you really need to pay attention to over the next three days. I'm going to be dropping some, some jewels. I'm going to be dropping some snippets. I'm going to be dropping in on some workshops and, you know, giving you about a minute's worth of the feed because, uh, I want you guys to see what you're missing out on. There's going to be some parties afterwards. I'm going to be catching content with that. And you're going to see my sizzle reel after a couple of uh, moments. And, uh, well, actually, probably by Saturday or Sunday. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to uh, rush myself. But the whole point is to basically give you the information that you need so that you can build your own social media stuff up. I mean, there's a lot of you out there that own travel agencies. You got food trucks, real estate. All of this stuff helps you to get your engagement up. So if you're not doing what you need to do to succeed on social media, you're not going to really, I mean, just give you just 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 give you a, a example. When you post something, do you really expect people to see it if you don't follow anybody or don't comment on anybody else's post? It's called engagement, people. If you don't engage with people, how do you expect them to really be able to work with you? Think about that. You got a product out there, you want to get it known, you want to get it seen. Half of you probably aren't even using hashtags. And what you don't know about hashtags is that, and I, I say this over and over again, I mean, I can't stop saying it, but people don't follow people. They follow hashtags. And the reason why they follow hashtags is because people are always using specific hashtags of things that they're interested in. So they put that out there so that you can go look at the hashtag, get some fresh ideas, get some insight on stuff and pretty much just make your uh, mark on the social media realm, realm so my advice when you're posting on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter is you need to really focus on um to ask a question. I'm just walking. <laughs> you have to focus on 
those hashtags that you want to put on that post so that you can see that if, if it climbs or not. Like, I'm going to give you an example. I do a, I have an Urban Foodies page that I put, uh, what do you call that? Uh, different people's food products up and, you know, places where I go eat. And, uh, you know, I, I created a blog on Instagram. Now, I created this one where I did... Uh, a time lapse of a 15 minute video down to one minute. It was a cra it was a crawfish boil. That thing has already hit 7,000 views. I didn't even try. I just tagged the necessary seafood uh, hashtags and voila, the thing just took to, like wildfire. It's crazy. And it's still climbing. Because of that one relevant hashtag, cra uh, crab boils. If you go to on Instagram, you go to crab boils or crab boil, Hashtag crab oil, you'll see the Urban Foodies LA post because it just keeps getting back up in the mix and going. So people, please, when you are doing your posts, you need to utilize the necessary hashtags. Now, I do utilize a hashtag app. It's called Social Hashtags by Prelaga, P-R-I-L-A-G-A. If you can't find that, you can go to prelaga.com. And what that does is that eliminates the need to type out all your hashtags. Think about this. How many times you guys get frustrated because you want to do your um, do your post, but you can't because you got to type out all these damn hashtags, man. Nobody wants to deal with that. So with this with this app it allows you to type in five keywords and then you can, um, it'll generate all the popular hashtags that are relevant to those five keywords. And the reason why you need this is because it saves you time and effort when it comes to your, your, uh, Postings. I'm trying to figure out where I am. I'm just walking. Y'all can just enjoy the scenery. I'm just walking through all kinds of areas. But that takes about three minutes. How long does it take you to write two hashtags? Probably two minutes. Because you're trying to figure out what you want to write. And you know what? A lot of you guys, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to cast the blame. Do you live out here? I do. Where is the convention? <laughs> Um, so if you, it's over there. Okay. But if you go straight, you're going to hit the water. Keep, just keep going. You'll eventually hit the water. Uh -huh. And then if you take a left, you can walk along the water to the convention. Perfect. Because yeah. I've been walking for like two miles to see like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you actually going to the convention center? Yeah, there's a conference that I'm going to. Okay, so instead of going to you hit the water, go to hit Harbor Drive. Mm -hmm. Cross over Harbor Drive, take a left, and follow that straight, and you'll get to that door. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. See, men do ask for directions. You women out there that don't think we don't, sorry, but I don't have time to look at my GPS because I'm going live with you guys, so I gotta ask questions. So anyway, to make a long story longer, um, a lot of you guys type hashtags that are irrelevant to anything that you're doing. You know which ones I really get pissed off at? You're wasting your hashtags typing, she ready. And uh, I'm not with that. Stop it. Those hashtags, nobody follows. You just made it up. You're the only one got to post there. Doesn't even make sense. Why would you waste time putting a hashtag when it's meaningless? Hashtags are meant to be meaningful. So that when you post something there, people can follow it and go, Oh my God, this is some information that I've been dying to work with. Jeez. What can I do? So, I'm like, don't do that. Please. Don't waste your efforts posting stuff with irrelevant hashtags because you'll wonder why your feed does nothing. And that's just my quote for today. But, my main concern today, I'm so interested in how YouTube tags work, how the cards work, 
how the different, I'm um, sorry, it's a street sweeper going by, a lot of noise. How the uh, new features in Facebook ads when you're picking certain categories work, because, you know, ever since this breach of trust and the, the government hearings and Mark Zuckerberg, they've been changing a lot of stuff. They move stuff around, you click on one thing, it disappears, shows up into another spot. You gotta keep checking yourself when you look at your social apps because they're always upgrading. So things that you've probably seen before in certain places are no longer there. So pay attention to that. Always keep your apps updated because sometimes you guys are using the old app and the old app sometimes is faulty or glitchy or even unsecure. So always do your updates on your phone so that you can keep your your stuff right. Now, I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get back to you guys on your configuration of your pages. A lot of you all make Facebook fan pages and that's cool, business pages, but you leave them incomplete. It's hard to find your page when it says John's Cookies 86743847. That's not the name of your page. Fix that. Go in and configure it right so you don't have to sit there and worry about why there's no engagement, why no one's following me. Because you, you haven't created the environment for them to follow you. You've created a situation where you've opened the door. Hey, that's where I'm headed, too. <laughs> you've opened the door for uh, catastrophe. Because if there's another John's Cookies and he's got his stuff configured, guess what? He's the one that's going to get the, the deal, not you. And they're really doing a lot down here. Check it out. They're doing uh, construction, getting ready to put waterfront offices, hotels. The ocean, the harbor is right over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right over there. So, I'm just going through the, getting my exercise in, obviously, because I didn't map this out right, but I don't really care. I'm not in a hurry. But, basically, just trying to give you the skinny on what's going to happen today. And, I want you to stay tuned. I'll be going live probably in another hour or so. What time is it right now? Probably like 8, 30, 9 o'clock. So probably about 10.30. In the meantime, though, I will be capturing content and actually um, putting together sizzle reels to, to post throughout the day on my Instagram account. So if you guys don't follow me now on Instagram, please do. I have two accounts. One is uh, Brian Bacchus Brands, and the other one is Style Click Media. So if you hit one or the other, you're bound to get some information. Okay, so now I have hit, I'm gonna give you guys a view of what I'm looking at right now so you can see. What's happening? Sorry. Hit the wrong thing. Okay, so this is beautiful downtown San Diego. And as you can see, I'm getting a nice little exercise walk. Kind of had to go around because they have a trolley system now that pretty much blocks pedestrians from walking different places. So I'm going to give you guys, San Diego, you know, it's quite beautiful. It's really nice down here. It's just expensive. I used to live down here for 10 years from... 90, I think it was 93, no, 92 to 2001, so nine years, but beautiful place, I mean, the hotels, there. actually, I'm going to be back down here at this hotel for another conference in June, and uh, that one has to do with IT stuff, so I won't be bringing it live, 
you know, I don't have too many IT fans. <laughs> I do have an IT channel for that, but I don't have any IT fans. So, this is basically getting my walk on. And I'm glad I got on some comfortable shoes because this wouldn't have been a chore. But, uh, yep. Down here, bringing it all to you. Giving you the bird's eye view. Oh, man. Let me know if y'all can hear me or if it's bad connection. Because, you know, I don't like to keep talking and people can't understand it. But, about to go down here and check in. Get my credentials. And uh, basically just get ready to roll. Okay, so if you guys look over there, that's the actual bar. Okay, let me do this. That's the actual bar that Top Gun was filmed at. You can see the sign out there, 32 and 32 second anniversary of the Top Gun filming when they were down here years ago. I guess 32 years to be exact. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it, history in the making. So, yep, almost there. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that email. I got to make sure people can hear me, you know, wasting your time talking and nobody can hear is pathetic. <laughs> okay, so I got like a little bit further way to walk, but hey. Come on, man. Gonna run me down. You see the light is green for me. Got you on camera, homie. Anyway, um, what else I want to talk about? Uh, anybody got a question? Throw up. Let me answer something for you. Ask me anything right now. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. I got about another, I guess, ten minutes to walk. So if anybody has any questions out there that they want to ask regards to anything social media, I'm ready to answer. Just let me know. And in the meantime, I'm going to take you guys over to my section on Pinterest. Now, let me tell you guys about Pinterest. Facebook and Instagram and Twitter are saturated. You're not going to gain followers there. You're going to get follow unfollows. I'm sure you guys experience that. Somebody follows you three days later, they're unfollowed. I keep track of my follow unfollows. And what I normally do is when somebody unfollows me, I just block them so they can't follow me again because I don't want to run the risk of you thinking that you're building up my following and you're not. So I alleviate that pro problem by doing that. So, since nobody has a question, we'll go ahead and finish with the Pinterest. So, what I do to build up my Pinterest is I share almost a hundred pins a day to different boards on my Pinterest account. And the reason why I do this is because I know how the algorithm on the Pinterest platform works. And it works like this. You, po you pin something, you share something from somebody. If people are following you, they'll see what you share. Then they'll come look at your boards. Then half the time they save your pins. Even if it's somebody else's pin, you're getting the engagement because they saved it from your page, your board, not their board. So what you do is you set it up so that you can share as many pins as you can, as many times as you can, because Pinterest is one of those platforms unlike Instagram and Twitter and Facebook the more you post the bigger the engagement see I'm gonna give you guys the difference between creating engagement on Pinterest versus creating engagement on these other platforms when you post too much on Instagram this is what happens people get tired of seeing your shit coming down the feed 
So what they end up doing is turning off your notifications, which ends up making you have less engagement. So if I may suggest something on those platforms, make your post and then leave it alone because you don't want uh, overwhelming content coming down the feed from you at the same time. I mean, sometimes people post 10 pics and then in Instagram, it saturates my feed because you posted 10 pics. And you know what you actually did when you posted 10 pics? You wasted nine other opportunities to use that content and to repurpose it and to do all kinds of other things. Why sit there and make a post with 10 pics when you could actually sit there and utilize those 10 pics over 10 days and get way more engagement? People need to learn the strategies because you're destroying your own following and feed by doing it that way. So I just kind of give you give you a, a example of how that works, so that in the future you won't have to sit there and make that mistake again. Now, in order to see if this is really working or happening, look at your own feed. How many times do you see certain posts from certain people all the time? It's like you get tired of it because and you know I really get I don't really get it's people who post selfies of themselves every day we know what you look like no one wants to see you every day the same post okay we about to get bombarded by the fire truck Amazing how loud it is when they're coming towards you. <laughs> but almost there. Getting ready to get in here and get registered. As soon as uh, good thing I brought some waters and some light snacks because uh, that was a little journey to get here. But almost there. So we are now at the convention center. I'm going to go ahead and switch it around so you guys can see where we're at. So yep, finally made it. Getting up there. I got to get my uh, other little amenities from the store, but hey, first day. Not tripping. Here we go, San Diego Convention Center, all day, baby. Coming up on the side, social media marketing world. Watch out, it's coming to a town near you is here. Zooming up on it, here we go. This is where I'm at. Yep, we're out here getting ready to go in here and get registered. So I'm uh, look at this. This is deep. They in the house. Everybody and their mama is getting coffee. This is crazy. I thought this was the line to register. This is the line to get coffee. <laughs> the coffee line. That's the coffee line. <laughs> they got several conventions in here, so we got to find out where ours is. It surely isn't this one. So I guess I got a key wall. Vendors are getting all set up. It's getting exciting. I don't know if you guys can still, the signal's still good because I'm inside the building now, but you know, it's going to be data overload up in here because everyone's going to be trying to use the internet or cell phone towers. So, 
Yeah, I think we're only at the end of the other building. I mean, of this building. So I'm going to get off of here because this looks like it's going to be a long journey down the corridor. And uh, I need to get over here and get registered. So I will come back in a little bit. And we can continue. All right, thank you everyone for staying on and uh, we'll, we'll get back, peace.